You heard the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You know what? That statement is absolutely false. Look, I'll be the first to admit that hurtful words can carry a long-term impact. Think about how you feel when other people make fun of you and talk bad about you in front of other people. Since you don't like it done to you, why do it to other people? Example, I'm a certified wordsmith. I've mastered the art of words. I am a word ninja. I can go through a classroom full of students, pick out every flaw in every student, roast them in freestyle rap in front of everyone, and make them feel small about themselves. Just because I can, doesn't mean that I should. With all of my flaws, what gives me the right to bully and make fun of other people? Likewise, with all of your flaws, what gives you the right to bully and make fun of other people? You have no idea what people are going through behind closed doors. The last thing they need is to be bullied or made fun of. I was bullied growing up, and trust me, it wasn't fun at all. Most of them did not know that my father was not a part of my life. They didn't know about the physical and mental abuse I went through. And them making fun of me and bullying me just made my life worse. I hated going to school. Don't get it twisted. I'm not innocent either. Because it was done to me, guess what? I did it to other people. And you know what? I was so wrong for doing so. I spoke at a high school about two years ago. This 15-year-old kid had a horrible home life. He was poor, wore the same clothes, his body odor wasn't pleasant, and plus, he was a grade behind. His mom was on drugs, and they were barely making it. Imagine how you felt when the other kids at school made fun of him and bullied him. I've learned this then you and I should not make another person's life worse. There is three types of bullying. Verbal bullying, name calling, teasing, taunting. Social bullying, hurting someone's reputation and relationships. Cyber bullying, this is done through emails, social media, and text messages. Bully sad is a new term used to identify people, especially youth, who are victims of bullying and became so emotionally distressed that they committed suicide. People who are bullied live in a constant state of fear and confusion. For them, suicide is their only way of escape. In 2017, a teenager committed suicide. She kept a journal of everyone at school who made fun of her and called her ugly. When the bullying first started, she would sit in her room and cut her wrist. Imagine that you were one of the many people calling her ugly and you found your name in her journal. How would that make you feel? Think about that the next time you fix your lips to make fun of someone or bully them. Don't be the one making fun of other people, young or old. I get it. Some friends make fun of each other and that's called roasting. But if a person does not want to be a part of that, you know what? Leave them alone. Don't be a bully. Let other people live their life without you making it worse. If you like this video, please consider purchasing a new copy of my book entitled Flossom. In this book, I talk about bullying along with many other topics. Now to order a copy or copies of my book, just go to my website, www.dspoet.com. Also, there is a link in the description below.